Hack Games Mythbusters Edition. That's right. Today we're going to talk about doing the port finishes and stuff. We're going to go all over the fantasies and the real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like and subscribe. Comment below. Johnny L. The first myth about port finishes is there are gains to be had by changing the surface finish from factory casting to a smooth finish. People thinking they need to port their head. You don't need to port your head, just sand it. You take your cartridge roll, you go through it, and boom, magic horsepower. Everybody wonder who did your head? Uncle John Speed Speed did it. That's right. Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you know why there isn't a badass sanded head out there? Why shops don't promote the sanded head? Well, that's because there's zero advantage to changing the surface finish from cast to smooth. Gains come from moving material around and changing the shape of the port, and you have to know what to move. There's a good chance a beginner will mess that up. Moving material might hurt the port if you're not making enough power to utilize it. The problem is you're concentrating on the wrong side of the port. The right valve job and bowl area are where the real gains are, sometimes equaling what a full port will produce. Next myth is the mirror polish myth. The myth is, is that if you make the port extremely smooth by polishing it to a mirror finish, then the port will pick up airflow. Again, there's no real gains with that method of thinking. The reason being that when you make the walls of the port too smooth, the air moves so fast that it sticks to the walls of the smooth port. The fuel falls out of suspension, causing inconsistent fuel delivery to the combustion chamber. Head Games follows a very logical approach when it comes to surface finish. First, we utilize 60 grit on the intake, which not only looks good, but does not hurt atomization. Next, we use 120 grit on the exhaust and combustion chamber. The smoother finish on the exhaust port helps airspeed and aids in less carbon buildup on the combustion chamber. 